Hello guys, welcome. We are in Bloemfontein Airport once again. This time we are flying to Johannesburg with actually with a mission to reach Iswatini. Iswatini will be our last country. It's another kingdom as Lesotho, it's the kingdom of Eswatini this time. A small piece of land inside of South Africa but it's completely independent um, as a country and that's our mission to reach today. We are flying in the morning, it's our flight goes 10.45 and 10.45 uh, a.m. and we have like one hour 30 minutes flight to Johannesburg so we plan to arrive there almost midday and try to find our way to Eswatini to spend the day there um, yeah so let's see how it goes we have no idea yet how to reach there but from from Johannesburg it's only around four or five hours to Eswatini uh, we tried to see to find our way from here but it was like so long and at any at any it doesn't matter uh, we still needed to reach Johannesburg, so we are flying now to this point to reach Eswatini. That's is going to be our last country before we come back to South Africa to finish our two months traveling around the south of Africa. So, welcome to another video. Good morning. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mara here. Today we are in Brook. Uh, Blom Feng time and we are flying to Joburg or Johannesburg. Then from there we will catch probably a public transport heading to Eswatini. And in Eswatini we will stay there maybe a day or two. From there we will be heading back again to South Africa and fly out. And that will be marking the end of our crazy southern trip I still wish we had like one month extra just to explore for example South Africa we were planning to visit like horse farms and just enjoy and see a lot of things happening but here we are at the airport heading to a new direction yeah guys yesterday when we were coming back here from Lesotho I was sleeping on the bus and suddenly Mara wakes me up I don't know, Russia! <laughs> and there was a field like with 200 horses on our way, so we were very excited. But yeah, we the time is running for us. We need to go back to Kenya. Um, so yeah, I hope next time we don't have any responsibilities. We can just manage our time the way we want. Um, but yeah, it's coming to an end. But it's just the first one of many in the life of a traveler. Yes. Oh, they don't skip them. Oh, guys. Yeah, I think I'm airport, but it feels like I'm. Alright, guys, here we go again. Yes, we are going to fly guys. to the sky. The sky is the limit. Another small, very, very small flight. Yeah, small flight. Something that we notice about small flights is the pressure on the ears can be very painful. So let's see how it goes this time.
girl from Joe Verne. <laughs> That's what they prefer. Guys, welcome to Johannesburg or Joe Verne. Or how many ways they say? Yeah, there's many. There's another one called Msanz. Msanzi. City. Okay, but we're not staying here. We have the mission to... Let me take your picture. ...to go to the kingdom of Eswatini. So... Yes. So we need to see. We need to catch a taxi. Google told me that it was possible for us to arrive here at the airport and catch a shuttle mm. to there. So we will see if that is true. Let's let's see. Then after that we're coming back to Johannesburg and we we'll, we will enjoy the city. But for now let's see what happens today. With manage, we are in the kingdom of Eswatini after I think almost like 
three, almost four hours. Uh, we just arrived and we're gonna stay in, it's, it's actually an apartment. It's called, guys, it's what it is called. And there's a kitchen there, but I can not find the lights. <laughs> and it has two rooms. One here. It's pretty okay. That's another room, just like this one. And there is the bathroom here, which is also very, very big. Very big. So there's our quick room tour of Eswatini. Now we're gonna rest and let's see. Uh, walking, we it's walking, explore tomorrow. I'm quite sleepy, that's what I don't know what I'm, how I'm saying, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Guys, look how beautiful is the view on daylight. Once again, welcome to Kingdom of Eswatini. We're gonna explore today. And this place is another kingdom like Lesotho because it's still ruled by the monarchy, actually an absolute monarchy. Uh, Swasi the third is the king, the third is the king of this area, this place, Eswatini. Eswatini was actually, was actually known as Swaziland years ago, but uh, the king decided to change the name from Swaziland to Eswatini. Once because they wanted to um, kind of like change um, the name that was actually brought by the colonizers and to have their own name. And, and also because Swaziland was very easy to confuse with Switzerland. So they decided to name this place as Eswatini. So now it's Eswatini. They have their own currency, um, which I need to remember the name because I forgot it. But the whole country also use South American rand. So it's very nice, very sunny today. So we are going to explore. Also, happy Father's Day. I want to send a lot of love to my dad. It's so, um, you know, something different with Mother's Days and Father's Days is that Father's Day is like worldwide. We also celebrate it in Argentina today. Uh, but Mother's Day, it has a different different dates in uh, different areas. Like we don't celebrate it the same. In Argentina, for example, it's always in October. And I know other places is in May and things like that. So happy Father's Day for everybody. Oh, I must, I must say happy Father's Day to my father-to-be. I just noticed that I have a, a, that that to be with me here. But yeah, we're gonna go get some food. We slept late because we needed it. We really needed it. So happy Father's Day, is my father to be, my daddy to be. Guys, <laughs> I can't wait to hold the joy. Or they call it bundle of joy. <laughs> we don't know if it's a baby boy or a baby girl. Yeah. But to all fathers out there, I want to say thank you so much for being good dads, including your dad who brought you to this world. Yes, mm -hmm. my dad too. Yes. yes. All right. Happy Father's Day. Okay. Yes. Let's go to it. And the dads to be like Maru. Yeah. Daddy to be. Daddy to be. I can I can imagine ourselves already as as mom and dad, like I would be the the one like taking care and things like that, and he would be ah oh, just uh, so, sorry guys, I need to post something, and I was standing there to catch the Wi-Fi. Okay, you give me one minute. Let's go. <laughs> so, okay. you can keep, uh, I can imagine. I can imagine. You know, like me trying to teach the baby do this like this and god my dad will be yeah just you just let it i know <laughs> oh, he will be a great dad yes 
for sure we all know that. So, feliz día, papá, para vos. Te amo. Sé que estás mirando este video, así que te mando mucho, mucho amor. Mm. by mountains where you like very nice very nice guys looks very chill also pretty clean also we can see the streets very clean and we are heading there to see to look sunny and then we are going the opposite way to see what's on the other side but actually the place is very very small. This is the public library. Yes. I see many books up there. It's what he post. If you wanna send some stuff. Central Bank of Eswatini up there. Like definitely we are in the area of where everything happens, where the business happens here in so let's see more. Very, very nice. Guys! Hello, hello! Testing, testing. No, you How don't say it like that. You testing, say one te million, two million? Testing, million? testing is one million, two, two million, million, three million. Three million. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got that from a, a video yes. that we saw. Guys, we are walking home. And look how the sunset looks like. The moon is getting there. dark. I'm trying to accommodate this. Oh. So let's go, man. It's not too too cold, to be honest. But it's fresh, fresh. But look how beautiful and the mountains and the sun setting behind us. Very nice. Remember, we are in. Mbabane. That's where we are. Hey, you the oh, it looks like a, they came from from like. Do you know the I realize here, like the girls put something on their head, like very traditional. Yeah, it looks like they come from some traditional event. Yeah, or church. A church. Something wow, look at our street. Nice. We came from downtown which are we are very close. We got some water, some fruits. Yes. And now time to go home. Time to go home and rest. We saw yeah. Do you think like hundred percent we've seen Switzerland or Swaziland or Swatini? For me, it's Swatini, so I don't confuse myself. Okay, yeah, it's Swatini. Uh, no, because I know, guys. One fact about Swatini: it has the largest mountain in the world. One of the oldest, also discovered. The oldest. Yes. We have seen it. I know it has like a nice waterfall, also. But we just to explore see, the since city. Since I saw Victoria Falls, I'm not fascinated with waterfalls anymore. <laughs> I'm like, waterfall, okay. 
because Victoria Falls for me is like a real waterfall. The rest is like a replica. And we were counting that we, our stay and our entrance in the kingdom of Eswatini, we reach our mission of 10 countries in two months, guys. So, congratulations. Yeah. I can't actually believe, guys. We yeah. were just counting the countries like the literally like right yeah. now and we realize if we include kenya because we travel in kenya yeah oh my god we've been in 10 countries 10 countries yeah. in the south of africa yeah. in two months in two months so that's a good 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 win you know that's okay I mean. for me i still don't see like uh, long distance dating as a problem you know because if you want you can easily be anywhere in the world in the next 24 hours yeah it's all about how much money you have in your pocket and time those two things time and time and the resources yes. so yeah guys we are walking on a hill so let me rest and reach there Look how Iswatini looks like guys. Next time we come here, we'll do more. We'll try to see when there is an event here, like maybe I'll take your picture. Inauguration, inauguration, I'll something take like picture. that. Stay there. Okay. There's a sunset looks very beautiful. Hole in the water. Okay. Let's see how good Matata looks here. <laughs> okay, this is good. All right, good, Natasha. Let's take a selfie. Selfie, selfie. Okay. okay, let's go. And we have the moon up there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nice walk also yeah. on the hills. <laughs> and actually, it's a little wow, it's just, it looks so beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Imagine this country like having nice villas from the mountain all the way down. Yeah, it like the houses are which is like our, our, it, our neighbor, it will for be example. Two, one, ten years. Uh, you know it's a little bit cold but if you walk like it's nice cold it's nice cold and also even though i'm very congestive but the air is so fresh it's yeah, like it's... so clean it's no the so whole clean. city is clean just beautiful guys the city is clean but also the air the air that yeah. you breathe very very clean 100%. so we have arrived so let's go home. Okay, we just arrived and my level of creativity is on another level, guys. I prepared some merienda. We call this merienda. Like it's an... For us, it's gonna be like a dinner. Light dinner. But the tea time, you know, for the British, when they have something hot with something sweet, we call it merienda in my country. So I use my creativity in another level. Let's see what's Matata's reaction for this. Let me see if I can. Actually, I know I can, but I'm handling the camera. So I just want to grab this. Let me just Give you here one second. I might take the plates like this with one hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like this with one hand. Got Matata. Yes. Are you wearing glasses? Look hey, at this. Rocio. Now this is your wife. Now this. <laughs> this is my real wife. <laughs> <laughs> 
my level of creativity. Yeah, this one, this is actually a surprise for Father's Day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Humble fathers, eh? Father's Day. We're gonna eat something. Father's Day, Father's Day. Guys, we are actually recluting ourselves just in the room because it's quite cold. It's quite cold, guys. So, yeah, we, we spend our, our time yeah. in the room. 100% sure. guys. Can you help we, me with this? We can't do it otherwise. Yeah. We can't do it other otherwise. <laughs> okay, let me bring the tea. Oh, there's tea. Yeah, I made, I made tea. I made some tea. Let us warm ourselves. And for this, yes, I do need my both hands. So this is it, guys. End of the day in the kingdom of Eswatini. It's been very nice, very nice, very nice. Tomorrow I will show you how we take off, actually. That's what we are doing. So I will finish my video there. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello guys, we came to the bus rank to catch a shuttle. What time is it? Supposed to it must be, be like 8, 8 something 8 a.m. in the morning. 8.40. 8.40 in the morning? 8.42. So it's gonna take us around 4 hours to reach Johannesburg. Yes. It was very cold in the morning but now the sun is, is shining. Yes. So the weather is nicer. Yes. Yes, guys. So this is where we are. This is where all the. This is where the taxis, you know, like these vans. They call it bus rank, but. Bus rank is the place where is the place. Is yeah, it's are. like a bus stop. Exactly. So to be precise, you can call it the city name, and then you add the the word bus rank. So here we are in Babane bus rank. Yeah. Yes. And the the cars are those ones the same that we are inside right now just waiting until so the the metal of these uh taxis they work now you have to come and wait when it's full it goes it doesn't have like a time oh it leaves at 10 11 no you just come and wait until it's full and how much are we paying from here to? I don't know, but uh, it should be like the other one. Yeah. Three fifty, three fifty. Let's so see. We, so maybe it will be cheaper. Maybe. In because our way, in our way, from Johannesburg to here, we pay three fifty, three fifty each yes. South African rand. So, so I'm so saying it could be cheaper. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Because with the other car. This was not its last stop, mm. but maybe they would do general, like as long as you're in the car, you pay this. Yeah, I guess there should be a general price. Yes. But yeah, it's early in the morning, so it's quite chill still, but this place get, gets more chaotic in the, during the day. Not really super, because the population is still less, 61,000 guys. No, but it's a chaotic area though. Yeah, like, this is downtown. Yeah. These places are always chaotic everywhere. Okay. You go chaotic. Yes. <laughs> chaotic. Uh, In my, Spanish is my chaotic. Chaotico. 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 In Spanish. Yeah. I miss speaking Spanish, so I will start speaking Spanish with you guys. What do you think? I you teach you teach some them. Spanish. Yeah. I teach you some Spanish. <laughs> And we speak Argentinian accent, that's something I must tell you. So I hope you like it. Alright guys, nos vemos luego.
travel to a place where you don't really have to struggle to get in and things like that so it was very easy very easy going happy passport thank you kingdom of eswatini it was a pleasure heavy passport